Welcome everyone, in today's video we are going to discuss this new project, Airwave, that is considered as a competitor to the Helium network. This new project promises to provide internet for everyone while you can be an operator or you can be a host, and you can make extra money providing internet to your neighborhood. The company considers itself as the new Airbnb of the internet. So in today's video we are going to discuss the differences, similarities and the way how it works, how it's different from the helium mining as well as we are going to have a look at earning. And if this is your first time into my channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. In my channel we discuss ways of making money and earning and other different ways to make money using low power mining. Go ahead please and check my other videos, you will find some of them pretty interesting too. It seems that the company has already secured 3 million dollars in funding that is going to be used in creating decentralized wireless broadband network. Founder's name, Jeff Yee, is already a former AT and a and ZTE executive, so it's pretty good to see somebody who's, who has been already into the domain, tried few things and is going to manage this project. So there are three fundamental things that they are going to happen for this project to be successful. Is first, the wireless access point equipment. Then the second, they want to focus on properties where the equipment is installed. So probably they want to focus more on crowded areas, cities, and the third thing is high speed. And when we speak about high speed, probably is also in the city. And they are here giving an example that a person who has a high speed internet that's provided like 10 gigabyte fiber endpoint that he can provide internet to almost 100 homes this is only if one person is in one hex so imagine if you have two or you have three you really can have a high speed just getting it from your neighbors without installing any cables without getting any extra equipment so in this scenario if we have 100 gigabyte of internet provided from a provider uh, it can power up to 100 homes everybody can get almost 100 megabyte if they are using internet at the same time so the company hopes that they will start their project in the first quarter of 2022 which is right now and till now there is no token release but they are thinking about a token and creating uh, a validated broadband connection as i think also like mining this token is not going to be that pretty easy as it is with helium with Helium, you are just providing coverage, sending radio signals, but this one's probably you have to install small towers and you should have access to the roof and you should also get some authorizations as you are going to sign contracts with operating systems uh, such as Orange, such as Play, uh, the ones that they are going to provide you with high speed internet. So the token reward systems looks like the following. So there is internet connection reported, validator confirms connection and mine token. Uh, after that, there is the token distributed to the network creators. And after that, the token used to purchase equipment and services to build the network. And the circles keeps going on. And that's how the token uh, network in general work for this project. So the whole idea of the project is to bring Web 3.0 and the blockchain idea in general, all of it, and make internet as cheap as possible and providing it to everyone. Especially if we speak about the 5G, as its network is not as easy as making a 4G internet. The 5G, you have to have these cellular towers closer to each other, and this is hardly uh, achievable by by companies themselves so the best way is to decentralize it and make it owned by people and this is what's trying this company to achieve making the internet cheap and making it accessible to everyone and affordable by everyone the project also introduces what is called the owner operator and what they mean by that you can be either residential or a business building where you can provide internet to the nearby neighborhood by deploying small cells uh, that it can be on the top of the roof or it can be inside of your, in your house if you live uh, in an apartment building. Uh, this can be installed by an engineer service that is provided by them as well as it can be installed by people themselves if they have the basic tools and knowledge how to do that. Now we are going to look at how much can you make from installing or deploying one of these cellular towers on the top of your roof so let's have a look and how much can we make out of uh, being a provider or being a host for for this one so being a host let's calculate the income installing one of these towers or one of these poles or roof sites or building mount 
that do look exactly like this ones either on your property or on property if you own a villa or you own a house or either on other properties such for example if your job gives you a permit for that or your apartments and you have access to the roof after getting permission of course or both of them so in this case i'm just going to say uh, on my property i have the right to install next then uh, yes no i want to be paid to host access point because i'm not an operator an operator is a person who is going to to provide the internet in most of the cases they are the big companies like play orange uh, t-mobile and all the other ones so the host is intended for for small investors lower income and fewer responsibilities but if you are an operator you are going to have large investments so you're going to put a lot of money into that probably you have to provide all the equipment uh, there is of course a higher income and there is also more responsibilities if something went wrong uh, it's like running a node you have to check on it uh, or be in a validator so there is more responsibilities than just like running or hosting the system okay i'm going to be a host in this case next i'm just going to run just one access point for the purpose of this uh, tutorial and this is your income so in five years you can earn about almost ten thousand dollars so the first year is not pretty uh, the best one as the first year you are going only to earn 280 as there is a price for the expenses probably buying the materials and uh, the antennas uh, putting the cells uh, installing it so all of that doesn't pay off uh, but later or the other years here where you can see some profit it's coming uh, as the expenses they are going to be lower and lower probably this is the price of your internet that you have to pay uh, per year so 120 dollar per year uh, approximately and your net income after that because you have already paid for your tower and for the, all the equipments that you need uh, so your net income per year is going to be 2280 well so comparing this one to the helium i believe that the helium miner makes a lot if you have joined helium since the very beginning you could make that in a month or you can make it in two months but if you want to add another asset to your earning and your passive income you might consider this one so this is going to be your earning in two years three years and in total after five years you might get up to the sum of ten thousand uh, i'm not sure at this point how they can estimate the price probably they are going to pay you in dollars as you are going to sign contracts you are going to issue invoices uh, and and now they are going to pay you in their token this is the way how i understood it because nobody can um, have an expectation of the token value what is going to be from now to five years or from now to the next year later on what you can do you can check on your address right here so for example let's put this address in the usa and we do a simple checkup and as you can see it's not yet and i will just go back to my page uh, by the way this is only available right now at this moment only in two countries in america and canada hopefully it will come to the uh european union and to other parts of the world but i don't think so probably in 2023 we might have some light on our countries but for the moment i think that they are stuck for united states and america and canada as long as they know the regulation the law and how it works when it is all set up probably they are going to move on to other countries exactly how it happened with the helium they also have a list here of frequently asked questions that it's uh, go deeply into that if you are interested uh, it might answer some of the questions that probably I didn't um, have a look at it and just I don't want to make it for the sake of this video I don't want to make it longer so I will just put any link that I have described here in the description box to so make sure to check it out so as discussed earlier you can be in this project either an operator or a host so in case you want to be an operator which is the one that is providing uh, the cellular network and providing the internet to your neighborhood you might have access to some of the tools and some of the plans so there are some free plans where you can have up to 1000 inquiry to check the market where you are going to provide your internet or up to two uh, or you have to pay monthly uh, almost $300 to have access uh, to few of the subscriptions that they mentioned here and up to 5000 inquiries on the other one you can have access to all what they are providing while you are paying them in their native token that is not yet launched but is going probably launched in the first quarter uh, of this year 
now if you are wondering if there is a white paper yes there is a white paper i already have downloaded and i went through it a little bit uh, it looks like pretty legit pretty detailed so please have a look at it also if this got your interest they also have a little bit of details about the token how it's going to be not distributed but how does it work in general so there is the operators the host and the validators uh, if you might join this project earlier you might be a validator as it might be a little bit cheaper than uh, if you join it later on and the way how it works is a proof of connectivity so there are people that they are connected through the internet that you are providing also this is working like kind of proof of geography where you are on proof of location so you have to provide the internet only in the location where you are so probably you have to put some setup that uh, this is your device where is it and this is your network so you should not get out of that network that you have or neighborhood and uh, if you want to expand you should have other devices that is connected in that area and the last point that I want to mention here is the platform once you sign up how it looks like you can check up for uh, for an address that you have or that you have access to and you might see if it, there is a possibility or if there is an operator that he want to contribute with you in providing the internet uh, so as you can see here there is installing equipments here you can provide the equipments that you have and uh, more details that the company has to verify here managing equipment uh, is the same thing uh, they are going to show you how much time it's on and how much data have you used so far. Messages is probably with your clients that you are working with and payments here as you can see they are working on contracts so depending on your location depending on what internet you are providing and the operator contract that you have created and later you can be on invoices if you are wondering if there is a waiting list yes there is a waiting list only you have to provide your location and send and once there is an operator that is interested in that location probably you will sign up a contract with them if you stayed with me till the end of this video please consider hitting that like and subscribe button it will help my channel to grow faster and with that said that was crypto anvil keep digging till the next video